What's up y'all, Stray, EMIP TV, and I want to do a second video or part B to the uh, how much does it cost to get out of your Schneider lease, and that's Schneider Finance. So, um, I showed you how much it costs to get out of my lease, right? It was like $166 or something like that, but what I really want to break down is I did pay $5,000, yes! I still paid five grand. It was coming out of my MMA account that I was putting $135 a week in, all right? So they kept that. Now I want you to know that when, when I started, when I first got that truck, I knew I was never going to see that money again because I knew I was gonna break my lease. I, I, I signed up for three years only because three years was gonna get me zero down, right? And then one year for the same truck, they wanted like three, 5,000, easy choice. Give me the truck, I'll take the three years, and no money down, right? I get to try it out. If I quit, I just owe them five grand. All right, so, but what I wanted to talk about is, what if I didn't have any money in my MMA account, right? I still would have got the 60% off right here. All right, so you got the payment plans, right? Plan one, save 15%. Plan two, pay a little bit more a week, save 30%. And plan three, save 50%. And the grand plan, paid all one lump sum, save 60%. But what if I didn't have any money in my MMA account? They still would have let me save 60%. I still would have owed them $5,000. But $5,000 minus 60%, they would have only asked me for two grand. That's right, so it really costs two grand to break your lease if they still extend this kind of offer to everybody that's breaking a lease, right? You own five grand, the one time penalty is $2,000, right? So if you had no money in your account, that's all you would owe them. So I was on the road, I was trying to figure out how could I deplete my MMA account to zero before I turn in this truck. And I couldn't do it. I, I couldn't think of a plan. You know, like I gotta get a friend as a mechanic and, and maybe break down uh, uh, and, and, and then tell him I need all of this stuff and then they send him the money and he gives me the money. You know, something like that, right? some kind of fraud type action, right? But you know, I couldn't find a way. I, I didn't want to do fraud, but I, I did want to do it legally. Somehow, I wanted to get that money in my hands. But since that Schneider's money, I mean, you gotta go through some ropes and ropes and red tape just to spend it on your truck. It's almost impossible, you know? So, um, Jason Andrews a while ago did a video on how he got his money out of his uh, account. Uh, when he was rolling with, uh, what was that company? Uh, Interstate. So maybe he has some answers. But anyway, zero down, zero money in your MMA account, a uh, 60% off will only be, you owe them $2,000. So I just want to make that clear that I, I did only have to owe them $166. That was the final payoff. I mean, excuse me, $66. That was the final payoff. But they did take my 5000 that was in my MMA account. All right, so just keep that in mind. Um, if you have your MMA account, they're gonna snatch that money. Try to somehow get that money if you can. I don't know, I don't know how, you figure it out. <laughs> but anyway, so that's it, that's the sum up of this video. I felt I did an injustice by kind of putting that video out without, you know, everybody thought I got over, but no, I didn't really get over. I, 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 $5,000, man, I lost it. They was taking out $135 a week to fulfill my MMA account, and I lost that for the over, over the time. Anyway, thanks for watching. It's Dre, EMIP TV's out.